uh, support and uh, development, right? Like especially with respect to that software and stuff like that. So, uh, with respect to the uh, skill sets, you are familiar with about the ECRT feature, right? Yes. Those are the strong points. Yes. Yeah. So, if at all, uh, uh, how about IMS? That's what uh, mostly this project might need IMS. So, will you be able to scale up or uh, train on IMS and uh, work on that? Yes, yes. To do that? yes, yes, I'll be able to like. Uh, uh, I have just a basic idea on the IMS like a PCB, PSBs and uh, hierarchy like uh, how what kind of hierarchy it will follow and how we will be fetching the data. I think just uh, like a get next to get in uh, GU, ZL will be there right. So I was just analyzing that so I don't have hands yeah. on but uh, just a basic idea I have. You have right. So anyways if you don't have some like uh, JT sessions and all you would be able to speed up. Yes. Right? Yes. That's it. So, with respect to the COBOL DB2 programs, uh, have you done such uh, application program changes COBOL DB2? Yes, I'm like uh, involved in making some changes in the COBOL DB2 also. Yeah. So, say, uh, we have a COBOL DB2 program and then uh, in one of the DB2 tables, we are going to add, we want to add a new column in the DB2 table. Yeah. So, uh, could you please uh, explain where all we will have to look into and then change it uh, So, like whenever I am making changes into uh, like a DP2 field, DP2 column, the, like first thing we need to raise a request to make the changes in the uh, table first. So, like DP2 team will take care of that. So, we will be raising yes. the request and we will submit it to them. So, meanwhile from our side, we need to identify what is the DCL gen for that table and uh, make the okay. necessary changes in that DCL gen. And once that is done, we need to identify like uh, what and all programs uh, are using this uh, like a kind of impact we need to find out like uh, uh, on the list of the program where we have used this particular DCL gen. All those things we need to uh, uh, like collect and if it is just a SQL statement and if you are not using that particular field in the program, then maybe like just a pre-compilation might be enough. In other cases, like uh, we need to make some changes to pass some proper value to the uh, that uh, like uh, length change to field and uh, do the pre-compilation and unit testing, integration testing, all those things we need to do. Apart from this, we also need to verify the JCL somewhere like we might have the load and unload utilities we have used for this table. So we may need to change the file length uh, there as well. So all those things we need to take care of. Okay. Yeah, so uh, say a uh, like, particular query okay, in a particular uh, property with program, okay, you have a select query. Okay. So if because of a particular scenario, okay, uh, you are getting a, a multiple rows okay, in a select query. Okay. You got my question, right? Yes, I got it. Okay. So, so what will happen? Like, oh, say you have not handled it. You have handled not, you, have, you were not expecting multiple rows in that particular couple program from that select query. But it so happened that you are just interested in the scenario. So, how will the program be here? How uh, easily like in this case we will be getting a um, uh, SQL code uh, SQL error code that is minus 811 so uh, mm -hmm. like uh, maybe like if you are not handling that the program will be abandoned so to avoid that mm -hmm. we need to go with the cursor concept here and uh, we will be following few steps to do uh, like use the cursor that declaration open fetch close and then we can like mm -hmm. permanently uh, avoid that uh, minus 811 issue Okay. And, and uh, another question is like, uh, have you put into or have you come across the programs with uh, that logic in a couple DP2 program? No, your voice was breaking. Could you repeat that? Okay. Have you come across a couple DP2 programs with restart logic? Uh, restart logic, you are asking? Yes. Yes. How many restart? 
so usually like in my experience uh, while updating or while inserting the records into the db2 table uh, we will be committing the data so while committing the data we will be taking that last key value and then we will be loading it into a separate table that uh, we use to call it a checkpoint and restart table so we will be like uh, let's say uh, the commit ratio is uh, 10000 so once i commit all 10000 rows i will be taking that 10000 through and uh, we will be loading it into the checkpoint restart and then uh, like uh, next for the next 10,000 again like if that is completed I will be replacing existing key value with a new one and uh, in case like if, it, uh, if there is any failure then we will be verifying this table whether it has any uh, like while executing the job right in the program as a first step I will verify this on this table as any uh, like key value for this particular program if it is has then I will consider it as a restart run and I will do my processing from that particular key value otherwise I will consider it as a fresh run and we will do processing from the first row record yeah. uh, so you are aware about the null indicators and uh, yes. how will you yes so and... usually like a null indicator uh, we will use to avoid minus 305 SQL error and here like uh, we need to declare a working storage variable with S904 com and then uh, that we need to use it as extra host variable in a select query and uh, once the select query execution is completed we need to verify what is the this null indicator is having whether it is a minus one minus two zero so if it is a minus one then we can minus one then we can consider the null values has occurred and we can replace them with the proper values have you have you, you as part of implementation have you provided support and all like have you come across any particular implementation like scenario where you have to roll back the changes and all uh, yes like, like uh, just, there was a scenario like uh, what we will be doing like whenever the release happens right on the next few days i will be like we will be doing the batch monitoring and uh, if there is any issues yes. uh, sorry no, 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 I, yeah, continue. Okay. I'm just, yes, uh, yeah. So, like, we'll be doing the batch monitoring, and if there is any issue with the codes which we have moved, then we will be roll, uh, rolling back, like, in case if you are not able to fix it. So, there was a scenario that I have faced this, and uh, the requirement, I did not remember exactly, but I remember, like, uh, we have already informed uh, some special scenario, and uh, it might, uh, like, uh, the that particular scenario, if that get executed, this. Uh, the job will fail and it was not there in the acceptance criteria of my feature so i have not added that i have not handled that scenario and also we have informed with the, to the po uh, before implementing this and they are also like uh, uh, they were like uh, this scenario may not come in the production like that they have uh, confirmed and uh, we have promoted a code unfortunately like that particular scenario has occurred in the first day of execution first batch day itself and uh, the job was failed so immediately we have to roll back all my changes and anyway uh, the good thing was like uh, i have that code also kept ready in my backup so i just added it and created a change request and promoted it again uh, before the next batch run so it was fixed yeah so uh, Yeah, hi, yeah, sorry for that. Some technical uh, network. Okay, yes. did, you, did you get that answer or do you want me to repeat? Yeah, no, no, no. I did like that particular scenario okay. on day one and that oh. situation. Yeah. So, we are good for that. So, you are compatible with JCL, uh, so the utilities and all that? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, uh, how can you uh, get data from? like two different files like say file one and file two uh -huh. the data which is present only in file one is in salt 
Mm. So using a sort, we need to use join keys here. So in the join keys, like we need to use uh, join like a uh, I mean in the syntax, we need to write a join uh, that file equal to uh, maybe f one comma the field names we need to mention that is for the file one and similarly for file two we need to mention and uh, after that like we need to mention uh, uh, join unpaid f1 only we need to write and then the format keys we, need, we can mention so it will fetch only the uh, data which is uh, present and not present in the file two okay so have you worked with vp files yes yeah so you know what we should do right uh, with respect how what is the change uh, when we sort the vb file so sort vb file like uh, uh, we need to have the four characters extra let's say like uh, the normal one is having 80 byte then we need to take uh, 84 for the vb and uh, reformat we need to mention vb yeah uh have you worked with visa method Yes, uh, Sam, yeah, like uh, as I said, uh, basic knowledge I have, but I, I yeah. so yeah. basically, uh, so what is the utility that you use to create with some clusters maintain them? Uh, it's a uh, ID camps, so, and uh, which, which function or like uh, which would be used to copy the data to this and Uh, we can use a retro. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, so, yeah, good question. Okay. So, we'll need it. Thank you. Thank you so much for your Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Any, uh, sorry, uh, any constraints from your side? Like, uh, which location are you from? Uh, uh, Hyderabad or that? Uh, currently, I'm in Hyderabad. This one. Uh, uh, for which location this project is? Uh, yeah, we have Hyderabad also. Okay. So we have Bangalore. Bangalore and Chennai are the like uh, preferred ones. Okay. In Hyderabad also. So, so okay, I'm so. not sure on that. Okay. So is it a support so or because, development project? Develop. Okay. Development with so IMS. Uh, IMS might be there. Okay. okay. And then uh, you are currently part of you were part of Infosys, right? Yes. Um, in the uh, not single project. Sure. Uh, and uh, have you worked in MX before? Sir, what no, was that? Have you worked in Have you worked in MX before? Annex, is it? MX, MX, American Express. Uh, no, 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 did not. Okay. Thanks, Professor. You're yeah. good. Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay.